This video was sponsored by Bluestacks, and if you don't know what Bluestacks is, it is a completely free emulator that you can use to run Azure Lane and other mobile games on your computer instead. If you have ever run into lackluster issues with your phone regarding its performance or overheating or anything, well, you don't have to worry about that with Bluestacks because you're running it on your computer instead, which could potentially get you much better performance as well. I personally use it to go and run Azure Lane and to record my YouTube videos for it, so I can definitely vouch for it. If you are interested in this, there is an affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment below, and it will actually give me some support too, so I can continue to keep making these videos for you guys. Peace out! Hi, I'm Ander or FBI Open Up on the Lexington server, and you may be wondering, wait, this isn't how? And yes, you are right, this is not how. Um, I, I bought a few skins since the last video, and um, yeah, my wallet's screaming in pain. But, here's a gear guide for how. She was recently introduced in the recent Aurora Noctis event, and now that I have her sufficiently leveled up and with her skills maxed, it is now time to cover her. So without further ado, let's get into the gear guide. Now onto some how gear basics, hopefully you guys haven't forgotten about her already. But to recap, how performs very similarly to the Royal Corgi herself, Worst Bite Retrofit. Now they have a very similar guaranteed barrage that procs every 15 seconds, except there are a few little differences, being that Worst Bite's Divine Marksman Plus shoots 10 seconds after the battle begins and then 15 seconds, and she also shoots AP ammo. While Hao has a synchronized strike that shoots every 15 seconds and shoots high explosive ammo instead. So, a couple of you guys have asked me whether or not Warspite or How is better, and my answer is... Rumble please? Just use both of them. So they are both extremely good ships, and since they don't require that metal position for their barrage, you can use both of them in the same fleet with no problem. Now back to How, of course. She is a Royal Navy battleship obtainable from the Aurora Noctis event. She has solid stats, as well as two very useful skills. Her first skill, Synchronized Strike, Shoots a special barrage every 15 seconds in the battle, targeting a random enemy. Additionally, similarly to Hood, Hao also gives a 20% reload and accuracy buff to any backline battleship, battlecruiser, or aviation battleship every time she procs this barrage. Now onto her second skill, Covenant of the Immortal Knights. It is a bit confusing to read at first, but I will try to clear up any misconceptions. So, at the start of battle, Hao gains a 12% firepower and reload boost. That is there at the very start of battle, and you always will get it. Then, if she meets any of these two requirements, which I'll explain, she will gain an additional 12% firepower and anti-air boost. So, these two requirements are either being sortied with King George V, Prince of Wales, Duke of York, or Monarch, or being sortied with three or more Royal Navy ships, which includes herself. Now if either of these requirements are met, she will gain this additional 12% firepower and anti-air boost. In total, if both of these are active, she will have a 24% firepower boost and a 12% reload and anti-air boost, which is quite substantial. Along with how how can be anywhere in the backline since her barrage does not require the middle position for maximum effectiveness, she is a very versatile and powerful ship. Make sure you are using her if you have her, since she is a great addition to any fleet. For Howe's main gun, since her barrage is time-based and is not based off of when she fires a salvo, just like Warspite, as it is every 15 seconds, she does not need to worry about a faster fire rate gun and will optimally want a higher DPS gun with a slower fire rate instead. The best in this slot would be none other than the trusty purple triple 406mm, which is better than all the gold guns for some reason. It's got everything a good gun would want. It's high explosive, it's got high damage, it's got great accuracy, and it's got a slightly slower but very reasonable reload time. The best part of this is that it's actually purple rarity, meaning that it is cheaper than your gold guns to upgrade to plus 10. You can find this gun in 6.2, 6-3, and an Eagle Union purple and gold boxes. There really is no excuse to not using this gun on her, since there really is no downside. Now, if you are looking for other options, the Prototype Triple 381mm is a solid option too. It's basically got identical performance to the Triple 406mm, except it trades off some damage per salvo, 
or some extra firepower instead. Now in the future update, where the gold gears can be upgraded all the way up to plus 13, this gun may be able to outshine the purple triple 406mm, but until then, they have very similar, almost identical performance. So yeah. For Howe's Ox Gun, she can equip light cruiser guns, so she will follow the standard light cruiser gun recommendations. The best in slot would not be this gun, but instead the AP Prototype Triple 152mm, which is the best overall option, thanks to its AP ammo and its very fast reload, which allows it to be much more consistent and more accurate than its competitors, but this gun comes in very limited quantities and will be much better used as a light cruiser main gun instead. So if you don't have any of these extras lying around, you can always use the two HE options, being the triple 125mm as well as the prototype triple 152mm. They are both very solid, they have HE ammo instead of the AP ammo, which travels a bit slower, but they are still very good options. Now if you don't have these two options, the purple budget friendly options, that are almost identical in performance than the others, are the twin 150mm right here, as well as the twin 152mm right here. They are both very good options, with the twin 150mm being a very very solid option, having great accuracy, damage, and fire rate, you can really never go wrong with it. You can obtain the twin 150mm from Iron Blood Purple and Gold boxes, Stage 4-2, and Stage 9-3. So you can also use the triple 152mm as I mentioned, you can obtain this from Royal Navy Purple and Gold boxes, Stage 4-3, and Stage 10-1. For Howe's anti-air gun, she could always go with the normal battleship recommendations of anything that gives extra accuracy, being the 40mm Bofors Hazemeyer, or the twin 40mm Bofors Stag. But in this case, since Howe has already super good accuracy due to her super high luck stat, she really doesn't necessarily need them. You could really use any of these golden guns here. My personal recommendation, of course, the Golden Roomba, always great. You can get it from 7-2, 11-4, and Gold Royal Navy Tech Boxes. And if you have none of these golden guns, you can always use the purple options, the 127mm mounted gun right here, and the purple Roomba are also solid options. You can find the purple Roomba from 7-2 and 11-4, and the 127mm mounted gun from 4-4, 12-4, and purple and gold Sakura Empire Tech Boxes. For Howe's Ox Gears, she can run the classic combo of the black and white shell, and that'll work out just fine. Now some of you guys were wondering why you can't run two white shells or two black shells or something, and that's because identical items as skills do not stack. So for instance, if you put two white shells here, it would not be an increase to Mangan crit damage by 50%, it would still only be 25%. This is why people use two different items, being the black and white shell, and not two of the same. So, anyway, the white shell gives 55 firepower, 15 accuracy, and it increases Mangun crit damage by 25%. The black shell gives 70 firepower, and it increases Mangun crit rate by 8%. Together, they give a very nice damage boost to Hao, and they are both really good items for battleships. Now, sometimes you can put a battleship on with an SG radar, but in this case, Hao has super good accuracy already, so the SG radar is kinda useless and I would not recommend using it. However, the high standard fire control radar has extra boosts that are super nice for any ship. 30 extra firepower is nice. The 36 accuracy here is negligible because as I said for the SG radar, Howe has super good accuracy already, but that decrease in loading time of the first main gun volley is always going to be really useful. Now for other options, the purple SG radar is also something to stay away from because as I said, it doesn't need extra accuracy. But the fire control radar is basically a worse version of the Cordata white shell. That's always nice with the 21 extra firepower that you get right here. And the poor man's white shell right here is also a nice pick. For the battle showcase portion of the video, I will be doing some exercises where I will use a full HMS backline including how. Some of you guys were wondering how this would perform in PvP, so here it is. We've got Monarch as flagship, Horse by Retrofit on the right, and Hao on the left. Along with that, I've got some random IJN people, because why not? Yukikaze, Azuma, and Noshiro are here. See you guys in the battle showcase. Now, the first battle's up. 
We're gonna shoot a couple torpedoes, and Azuma's gonna do her thing, and shoot a couple of those nice big fireballs at them. And here's Divine Marksman right there. Ooh, okay. So Divine Marksman did a number on that Kaga down there, and Monarch's gonna proc, and she's not gonna proc her barrage because why not? Al's gonna shoot, and there you go. Almost done here. And with that, the battle should be wrapped up very soon. Yukikaze died for her, everybody's sins, and a synchronized strike will finish things off. Now, if you're wondering, I was probably not going to get MVP because War Spite does way too much damage, <laughs> as I predicted. So there's your stats, and Monarch is sad because she didn't proc her barrage. On to our next opponent, a Kiwi. Uh, let's get started. Now for our second battle against a Kiwi. We will see that we are shooting things. Yep. Divine Marksman should proc right here, and our War Spites will trade out blows. Anyway, so even though I did say that War Spite does do, do more damage than how, please do consider that this is PvP where those shots are guaranteed to land. In other scenarios, such as PvE, those shots may not land. And how might have a better chance in landing since she has four shots in her synchronized strike rather than War Spites 2. So it all really just depends on the situation, and most of the time, War Spite will win. But they are still very good ships, so I will not really discredit how with anything. And here is another win, and War Spite got MVP once again. Next up, we've got Oh Nose. Um, this will be quick. Now if you're wondering about the lag, I'm actually planning to go and get a PC upgrade soon, so you might not have to embrace that for that much longer. So that'll be really nice, once it comes of course. There's a Divine Marksman proc, and Synchronized Strike will also follow up with that. Monarch's Barrage right there, and Centaur is no more. Moving on, looks like my Vanguards are moving on to their backline, I'm getting two frames, and the battle is over. Nice. So do keep that in mind, I'm getting a new PC soon, and maybe the lag will just magically disappear, because my PC is going down the drain right now. And that time, Monarch actually got MVP. That's nice. With that battle showcase finished, that will conclude my gear guide for how. As always, if you found this information helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Don't forget to press that notification bell for my future uploads as well. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions that need to be answered, and I'll try my best to reply. If you're interested, you can always join my Discord server if you want a place to relax or just want some advice. That'll be all for this video, so I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!